Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kiki Abhishek once again from here in Dallas, Texas and today I'm bringing you the review of a very unique smartwatch. It's a hybrid smartwatch from Fossil. It's the Fossil Collider HR or Collider HR. So I just got it uh, and the best part of this is I was able to get this at a really great de awesome deal. Uh, usually this uh, retails for $195 to $200. It just came out last year. And the speciality of this watch is that it comes with an e-ink display, basically the display that you find in Amazon Kindle, which makes uh, the watch uh, battery life last several weeks. So, I mean, I do have the Fossil 5th generation watch right now, uh, which is one of my favorite watches. Uh, I just absolutely love it. But the only problem with this one is the battery is definitely much better than the previous generation Fossil watches. Uh, but it's still uh, just about a day or a day and a half at max. Uh, so I was looking for something which looks really good, like more dressy, as well as has a good battery life. And guess how much I got this for? I got this for $50. So this was factory refurbished from Fossil, available directly from them. I think it was available on 28th of June. Immediately went ahead and purchased this and it was uh, delivered um, to my home and this was my birthday present to myself and there you go uh, I didn't even open it <laughs> because I wanted to do this unboxing video let's uh, jump in and see what's included I like what came in the box uh, I think uh, the receipt and everything uh, came here and yeah, I, I like the gesture uh, how fossil packages this stuff up. Uh, let's put it. Okay, so here's the mm, the charging dock looks a little different than my fifth gen. Comes with two different two pogo pins. And let's go ahead and see the what. Okay, that is how it looks. Oh wow. I love it. Uh, let me let the camera focus. So, what do you guys think about it? Looks really good, right? There was a all that's from the back side. Let me just let the camera focus. I don't know. Uh, for some reason, it's not focusing. 22 millimeter bands. Let's see what written in there. Hardly, I can't read what's in there. But overall, that is how the watch looks um, let's do a side by side size comparison let me take off my fifth generation fossil uh, and as you can see um, they're pretty similar in size but since this has the metal band it seems a little heavier on the side and that is another reason even though the metal band version of this was also available for 50 bucks I ordered uh, the one with the silicon band because I think if you are someone who work with a keyboard like on a computer all day long and uh, you have to type something on the keyboard then I think you know these can get a little uh, uncomfortable but you know having a silicon band is just perfect looks uh, you know this matte black finish looks very subdued looks very formal looks very dressy but at the same time I mean it's a smartwatch so you know has all the notifications and even a heart rate sensor so okay guys I mean uh, there's nothing much I mean as I've already seen the watch I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up and use it for a few days and shoot the next part of the video and tell you how I like the watch hey so I'm back I did set up the watch and used it for about 10 days before shooting this part of the video before I get into the details, as a disclaimer, this part is going to be longer than expected, mainly because I want to show you how to navigate this watch. The lack of touchscreen and having to just use the three physical buttons, it's not very intuitive and there is a little bit of learning curve. Eventually you will get it, but even after wearing this watch for 10 days, I'm still fumbling a little bit. Uh, so pause this video, grab yourself a drink or a snack, and then come back, sit, relax, and enjoy. So let me show you from the beginning. So I'll show you how to pair this watch up and then navigate through the app 
and then we'll look at how to use these three buttons to operate the watch and then we will talk about battery life pricing and overall impressions so today i'm gonna use my iphone ac2 2020 to show you the setup but i have already compared uh, the apps on the on an android as well as this iphone and i have found no differences uh, in the app in terms of functionality or any extra feature so the watch is fully compatible and all the functions are the same uh, whether you are using an android phone or, uh, or 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 an iphone okay so first thing that you need to go do is go to your app store then uh, if you are on android go to play store then search for fossil hybrid and then this is the says fossil hybrid smartwatches it's the same app for every smartwatch uh, for every hybrid smartwatch whether they come with the display and the heart rate sensor or not i already had the app installed so i'm going to download and wait it for install and then launch it then hit uh, get started so first page is gives you a sign up page you can sign up either with your apple id google id or facebook i already have an account so i would just hit login and same three options so basically using facebook uh, apple id or google id what it does is you don't have to fill up your name and other details it automatically pulls all those information from the account and just makes the sign up and the setup process a little bit quicker so I'll hit that select my google account okay so now uh, i'm in the app before getting into the details of the app let me show you how to you know pair the watch because there is no watch right now so come to the third tab which says customization hit pair so there's two steps first step that you have to get the watch ready for pairing so how the way you do it is there's instructions on the screen which is uh, very easy to follow press and hold the middle button you will uh, feel the watch vibrate and you will see the uh, watch hands move um, once that happens the next step uh, is basically once the app or the phone detects the watch uh, you will have to authorize so what will happen is the watch will keep vibrating so again you have to come and press and hold the center button or the middle button and authorize the watch and then it will be fully set so let's go ahead and do that so it says i should hold press and hold okay i saw the watch reset okay so that's the my collider HR so this is my watch now now the watch is vibrating and I have to authorize asking me to flick my wrist but that's okay so that's how you connect it very straightforward very simple instructions on the app are very intuitive no problems over there so now let's talk about the app as such so the first uh, we'll go back to the home page so the home page is basically a dashboard of all your activity summary on the top you have some rings which is basically a progress indicator very similar to the progress bars that you progress rings that you get on an iwatch or even google fit app um, so basically summary of your steps then active minutes your calories uh, your resting heart rate and then um your sleep then you have a current uh, daily view weekly view monthly view so let me just uh, and these are all the same so on the daily view you have the different timelines on the week view you see the different days of the week on the month you see the different months so i'm going to show the one which is sleep tracking it's most interesting so go into the month and i'm going to go on 2nd of july so as you can see it tells uh, on the top shows the date and the hours i slept and uh, then this is more uh, detail into what time I went to bed, what time I woke up, uh, woke, how many minutes I was awake, then my light sleep time and then deep sleep. Also the good interesting part is it also tracks your heart rate during the sleep. So as I can see, um, so I didn't find this in many of the other smartwatches or even fitness trackers that would do that and I found that was very cool for Fossil to actually have that the second chap is for challenges so what it lets you do is if you have friends who also have the same watch you can add them in the friends 
and then you can go to the challenge and you can create a challenge so basically similar to the fitbit uh, challenges add your uh, friends and then you can set up you know daily uh, goals uh, step goals uh, or active minutes goals and then you can pit against each other and see who wins just to keep yourself motivated and then then the third tab is the customization that's where we started so basically what it does is lets you configure what each of these buttons do when you press them and also lets you choose the different kind of backgrounds for the watch face as you can see as i click on them it changes and also has an op provides an option to choose a background of your own so basically it lets you choose uh, <clears throat> your own photograph i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that head on photo library and then i'm going to scroll down and find a photo of mine maybe this one and i'll do the soft and then you can drag and crop and then you can do a preview if you save that's how it's going to look at the watch and then hit the and it will show up so this is how you know it shows up in the watch so it's e ink display the technology that the same technology that is being used by e readers as well as uh, you know the amazon kindle uh, this kind of display actually consumes very little energy to operate so you can get you know really good battery life and that's the reason why this watch fossil claims to have about two plus weeks of battery life i'm going to come to the real world battery life in a minute let's go ahead and uh, see this customization more so i'm going to go ahead and choose something easy to look at while we are doing this and then if you swipe you would see there are three presets which are already over there so it's a daily fitness travel and then you can also create your own which i think was a very good cool feature from um fossil so i'm going to go ahead and create one my name and then these are the four widgets that you can choose let's go ahead and choose i'm going to uh okay current temperature so that's your weather information yeah let's go ahead and find the steps this one the battery so when you choose what widgets to display there what information so you can hit on all or you can uh hit on these selections so basically you know group them or you can also search them so many different ways just makes it easier uh and here what i would want i probably want my heart rate okay so i'm going to or yeah and then i just hit customize it's done now i want to customize my buttons too instead of workouts i want um notifications so let's see where all the notifications are so it's past notifications this one instead of the wellness dashboard that's fine music control that's fine i'm going to keep them uh, the way they are right now okay so let's go ahead and see the watch as you can see it's actually set up the way i did that so weather on the top heart rate on the bottom battery life and your steps on each side um let's go ahead and see the alert section so in the alerts uh it gives you the first thing is for alarms so you can set up alarms uh from the app uh and what it will do is your watch will vibrate at that time so if you have if you live with a significant other and uh, they don't want to get bothered or wake up with a regular alarm then this is very helpful uh the vibration is uh okay so if you are a very deep deep sleeper and it's very hard for you to wake up probably that won't work but for regular people a regular person i think it's strong enough for um, it to wake you up then the next thing is notifications by default calls and messages are enabled and you can have options like favorite contact or no one so if you want only from notifications from certain people to come you can set that that way and the way you add favorite is here so you go through here and then select who your favorite contacts are probably your closest friends and family members um and then it comes with the apps so on the android app by default all the apps that are installed on your phone are enabled uh, for notifications so you will get all the notifications in the ios app as you can see all the notifications are actually turned off by default 
so you have to go ahead and choose the notifications that you really want uh, let's go ahead and uh, choose something you know a whatsapp notification uh, so I did usually firstly uh, I'm gonna go talk about the notifications piece a little later when I talk about the battery life but I right now I don't have everything turned on but I have notification turned on for the things that I really care and then the next option if you go back is the move alerts so very similar to an Apple watch or a Google Fit watch or any other Fitbit watch and all that so you can set a start and end time and then you can set uh, the interval after which the watch will remind you to be more active you can edit the start time you can edit the end time the only thing that is missing is the days of the week uh, it would have been better if it would you know give me this notifications during the weekdays and not on a weekend because depending on usually I'm active on more active on the weekend or I'm resting on the weekend I don't want to be bothered so you know I wish this is one of the things that's missing uh, I don't want that for now and then the fourth tab is the profile so what the profile does is your name your user ID your weight and height and when I joined when you join and then the record breaker that's basically the maximum of everything that I have done so 8428 steps is the maximum that I have walked with this watch on 1300 calories and slept almost 10 hours not very healthy stats and there's a reason for it because you know I wasn't wearing the watch fully I was just testing it out so those all those stats are like little out of whack and now it says which watch so it's the fossil collider watch shows the battery percentage and when it was synced if you hit on that it gives you more detailed information about the firmware version serial number and there's also an option to calibrate sometimes what can happen is as you can see uh, the watch hands might not uh, exactly match uh, the minute markers on the dial so if you use the calibration that will help you to recalibrate the watch and probably will um, you know it would make it look more accurate um, and there's few other things that you can do uh, I think that is on the back side okay so on the help so you can also you know email fossil or uh, you have a live chat option or call us also there's an option to find a repair center and the rest of the things are pretty standard um, yep and that's pretty much everything I think overall on the app side uh, you know the pairing process the amount of information that is shown everything is good I don't have any problems with it uh, I would probably say this app is almost like a 10 out of 10 no complaints so far except for one thing that's missing is for the you know active alerts I would wanted if I wish they had a choice uh, given to select the days you wanted the alerts from other than that everything else is uh, pretty solid okay so I think I missed this part uh, so you can also set your goals so basically this uh, the goals on here determines the progress of the rings uh, how they were when they would close or mar be marked as completed and also lets you choose the units so whether you are in the US or you are in Canada or Europe or any other place you can change them to kilometers and Celsius or your weight to you know kgs and height to centimeters um, and there's one more thing so when it comes to connected apps the data uh, the fitness tracking data uh, from this watch actually can be synced with your apple health or google fit which i felt it was awesome i mean this is a super um, you know useful for a person who you might have an apple watch as well as this watch so you depending on this uh, day of the week you might be wearing this watch and some days you might be wearing your apple watch same way like if you have a android wear watch <clears throat> you might be wearing that watch and this watch sometimes so this will make all your activity tracking uh, you know synced up in your google account without any uh, you know <clears throat> gaps or anything and this is super awesome there are many other companies which don't let you uh, sync your data with Google Fit or and uh, Apple Health and I think uh, this is hats off to Fossil for letting you do that now let's take a look at how you operate the watch so since this is e-ink display um, there's no it, it, it's hard to see it in the dark but Fossil did think about it so there's four LEDs that lights up when you tap the face of the watch as you can see not the best kind of illumination uh, I would have preferred it if it was like kind of the indie glow like Timex which more uniformly lit but this uh, works I mean it gets the job done 
Now let me show you how to actually navigate the watch. So these hands do the same things, like sorry, these buttons do the same things that you set them up in the app itself, right? And it, if you see the center crown here, it kind of looks like uh, it would probably be something uh, that would rotate, but it doesn't. It, these are all push pins. Okay, so the first thing I will, so what did I set it to? Notifications. So nothing is in the notifications, so it's not showing anything. And cool feature is the always the hands move out of the way, so it's easier for you to read the notifications. Another good stuff from Fossil. Now, if you want to go back, you see the home on the top, so you have to select it. So now you're on the home. And then to go back, you have to press this middle button. This is kind of your enter. You select using these two buttons and press this with the enter. So now you're back to your home screen. Now let's see what the pressing the middle button does. It brings you to your daily summary. So how do I go back? If I press this again, what it's going to start doing is it's going to start, you know, measuring my heart rate, which I don't want to. I want to go back. So I have to hit this. So now I'm in home selected. Press that. I'm back to home. Similar way. Let's see what this is assigned to. This is assigned to my music controls. But if I hit this, it's going to play the song that's currently playing. I don't want that to happen. I want to go back. What I have to do is I have to select the little house icon on the top. Press this. It's now in the house icon. And then I press that and boom, I go back once again. So basically, if you want to go back at any time to this home screen, I have to make sure you actually press this or this button to navigate and get the house highlighted in white on the top. Once it is highlighted in white, uh, that means it's already it's ready for selection. So then you press the middle button, which access the enter and it will take you back. Let me just show you the middle button function again. So press that. That's my today health leader. If I so now the confusion is if you are not familiar with the watch, you don't know what is selected. It's today selected or the house is selected because you know uh, it's all black and white. If I press that again, so I'm selecting today or it's ha nothing happens. If I press this, it's moving it. If I press that, that's bringing me back. And if I press that, what it's doing is it immediately starts, you know, measuring my heart rate, which uh, so initial period before I figured it out, there was a little bit of fumbling uh, trying to get the watch do what I was actually intending to do. So now if since everything is done, how do I go back? There's no home button here, right? I have need to show that home. So, okay, one more time. And now the home is in white. Again, press the enter. You go back to your home. So that's how you navigate the watch. So I think this will help even if you are if you already have the watch or even uh, if you are planning on having the watch. I think this part of the video will actually help you uh, a lot to and reduce the learning curve. Uh, in, in the initial days of, you know, making the watch more easy to use. Now let's talk about the overall com comfort, battery life, price comparisons uh, and everything else. So, um, it, I, there was one thing that is really missing is there's no way to turn this watch off. There's no option in the app that I showed you. Uh, there's no option to, even if I'm pressing and holding any of these buttons, there's no way to basically turn this off. So what happens is if I have more than one watch or if I am not wearing this watch and I just leave it on a table, the notifications will still go to this watch and it will keep vibrating and that could be, that can be pretty bothering. And if you have someone else, uh, your significant other might also get bothered by, you know, just hearing the watch buzz after every few minutes or a few seconds as you get notifications. Can also be a privacy issue. Like if you're trying to hide something on your phone, if you're doing something on your phone and you don't want your partner to know and you leave the watch on the table, it vibrates and the notification comes up, um, you know, depending on, uh, it can cause some kind of a privacy issue. So there's no way to turn that off. Uh, the And since you cannot turn that off, the notifications will be on and this damn LEDs uh, for your heart rate center will also. So. I am not so bothered about the notifications because what happens is there's an option where you can select do not disturb. Um, let me just. So when you go to today and you hit next. Oh, sorry.
see this is the problem i just uh trying to figure out how do you okay so right here so if you press uh, down on the middle button this takes you to this little menu so and then you can go through that this is about and then that's home so i'm gonna go more so there's an option that says do not disturb so you can set the watch to do not disturb here so that will stop the watch from getting notifications but it will still keep the heart rate on so if you have this watch set on a table with do not disturb mode uh, in your bedroom at night uh, this led the green l lights from the heart rate monitor can become a little bit distracting um and anyway since i'm here i wanted to show you so let's go ahead and see what what all is there so it's about so if you select that it will give you the serial number and the former version and then if i head back uh, the next step is then is your do not disturb and then you can also turn off the dial info like all the four widgets from here there's also an option to ring your phone uh, you can also start uh, the challenge from here you can also bring up your music controls and you know notifications then your stopwatch your timer your wellness your workouts so all those and you also see the battery level on up so that you can do by you can come to this menu but just by pressing and holding the middle button so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back to the home screen now so i have to go all the way back okay now white is selected in the home press the home button and then i'm back now this watch uh, ranges from 195 to 215 dollars depending on which model and which design you know uh, you pick so I had the one with the black in black with the silicone band because this is uh, I prefer this matte black silicone band because I think uh, this is uh, very easy whether you are dressing up or dressing down so goes well with both casual as well as you know more dressier outfits. Um, now overall impressions uh, in terms of battery life so fossil claims that it has two weeks plus uh, worth of battery life but i didn't really get it so initially when i the first time when i had all the notifications from all the apps uh, enabled i got only about three days of battery life when i selectively changed them then i got about five days of battery life and that's the maximum i had been able to get uh, from this watch it's it's not even a whole week or even 10 days uh, so i don't know how fossil claims it to have two weeks plus of um, battery life i'm not sure if my particular this watch has some kind of a defect for which it has a shorter battery life uh, but i did see that it it, it the maximum uh, battery life i got out of this watch was five days another interesting feature is uh, when the watch is connected to an iphone i thought the battery life went a little bit uh, more compared to the android so the same three day and the five days on my when paired with my iphone was actually four days and six days but again i was nowhere near to the two weeks plus days this was claimed now 195 dollars uh, but i didn't really pay 195 dollars i only paid 50 dollars because this was available refurbished from fossil's website directly you know a few weeks back and they were running some kind of a special with that code it took 70 percent off from all the smartwatches all the refurbished smartwatches and everything was sold out except for this model there's another one which comes with a leather leather band tan leather band and the display is also looks a little brownish looks pretty cool i was probably wanted to get that but then i was sold out and there were the other ones with metal bands and i don't really prefer metal bands uh, and this was left and then i thought anyway this is going to be better because i can wear it during workouts as well as uh, when i have to you know can wear it with my dress clothes so it will be fine so so what if the rest is sold out whatever happens happens for good and i have that now for 50 dollars and being a refurbished it might be a reason why the battery life is not uh, 
that grade or um, as per the fossils claim of two weeks plus uh, but if if even if the battery life was let's let's say for an example if the battery life was about 10 days so is it worth at 200 dollars i would say it's kind of a hard sell because if you really look there are a lot of other watches that are available uh, close to that pricing which gives you a lot more features a lot more bells and whistles and if you really want a good battery life then there's a lot many cheaper options out there uh, just like you know if you have the ms fit pip watch or if you have the umdg u fit watch i got about 30 days of battery life and they only cost a fraction of this watch you know in between you know 30 to 70 dollars all uh, and they essentially do the same Thing. they give you notifications they do your fitness tracking uh, things like you cannot take or receive uh, calls because it doesn't have a inbuilt speaker or microphone you cannot really swim on uh, wearing this watch uh, you can, there's no option for adding any kind of payment method so no nfc no google pay or you know apple pay or samsung pay some or any kind of fossil pay also not in there um, there's no app uh, concept like where you can download and install you know app integration wise it integrates to google fit and apple uh, health so that's fine uh, but it doesn't do uh, integrate with other you know nike fitness plus or <clears throat> any kind of the running apps uh, like runkeeper or even strava so those things are missing which uh, you can probably easily get if you are looking for another smartwatch around the price range um, and the battery life is less than impressive and i think that is kind of a um, common problem across the board for all the watches that are made by fossil whether it's uh, from the fossil brand uh, or it's from some of his sister bands like skazen or michael kors or all these smart watches android Wear watches are mainly made by fossil and they are rebranded and labeled for different watch companies so right now i'm wearing this uh, fossil generation 5 carlyle that I got uh, and I love this watch uh, you know the battery life is not very impressive last about a day but overall I just love the uh, it's an Android Wear watch it does have all the other stuff like you know you know Google Pay and also has a speaker and microphone um, and I like that watch and this is this cost about two uh, you know when it came out it was 295 but you can also get this watch for 200 dollars so to me you know buying this watch for 200 bucks versus something similar to this or you know uh, samsung galaxy active 2 or even the apple uh, watch even series 3 uh, they are more functional so the only uh, time a person who would like to get this watch is if they are someone like me who considers watch as a part of their clothing uh, and it creates a fashion statement so they would be looking for something which also looks good and if that watch also doesn't need to be charged every day then that's a big huge relief uh, but and um, because of that those two you're willing to you know sacrifice on some of the other more fancier features uh, but at $200 price range I think it's a bit steep uh, this watch would have been perfect if it was priced at you know 100 bucks or $125 then this would have been a lot better watch so in terms of shortcomings uh, there's only two two that I want to mention one is that there's no way to turn this watch off and uh, it's pricey and the other thing that you can live with it is basically the navigation is not super intuitive but as you keep using the watch you will probably you know get used to it uh, areas of improvement could be you know also the backlit instead of using those four leds uh, if they use something more uniform that gives more uniform lighting just like similar to what timex uses in their indiglo watches uh, then this would have been you know more perfect so overall a uh, decent watch uh, gives you all the basic fitness tracking uh, functionalities also gives you all the notifications battery life is okay uh, looks really good uh, very comfortable to wear lots of customizations and bands and everything available uh, but uh, the only drawback uh, major drawback for this watch is the pricing for 200 dollars i think it will take a lot of people away shy Lot, <clears throat> shy a lot of people away from it is because the value and the functionality and everything this watch offers is not as good as some of the other watches that are available right now so that's all guys that's everything for this video if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button also don't forget to support this channel it helps a lot uh, 
do subscribe to my channel and that will keep you updated about all the videos that i post also share it with your friends and ask them to like and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye